Hi, I'm Jackie with the Build It All team. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with the list form fields. So we're going to click on see lists. We are going to use the training list. Going to go and click on forms and it will open a page like this. Right here on the top left corner, you have the default form of the specific list, but you can change it and create a brand new form. And this is useful, especially if it's going to be a form that you might use on different sites and pages. So let's go and create one that's called consultation. We're going to click on the plus. So we can see right here on the consultation area, if I click on the drop down, you would be able to go back to the default form as it was. Or you can go back to the consultation form that you are using and you can create multiple forms. So the next step is to look at the basic fields area. You will note that there is multiple different fields that you can add. If you take any of these and add it to the field and change it, it will become my fields. So when I go click on my fields, you can see these are the ones that I've played with before. And we're going to add a few of them. We've got email, first name. And maybe I want to add the last name. So I'm just going to drag and drop it to the page. And you're going to see the information is sitting there. Now I just want to add a label. So let's go take a look at the properties area. Right here we've got last name which is the tag. I'm going to take the default value away and I'm going to put it by the label. And I'm just going to write here surname. Because you can choose between last name, surname. It's just something that is going to help the user. And then you're going to click. If it is something that you do not like and you made a mistake, all you need to do is click and click again. And you would have deleted it. So let me go and grab it again. And this time around, I'm just going to remove last name there. And I'm going to actually type it in here. And now that has been added. You will see that these text fields do not have options and I'm going to show you now why. But before we get going, you will also see that there is little ticks, green ticks here. Some of them is not ticked. That means that it is not compulsory or required. So if I click on that field right there, it becomes compulsory. If I remove it away, it means you basically give the user the option to give their first name or not. If you have it like this, it means that they will be able to continue to submit the form without giving their name. So it is really important to make sure that you tick that field. Now you can tick it right here in this box or on the right hand side, you will see it shows required. You're going to just slide it and you will see that it's opening up. I'm going to talk about the hidden field just in a moment. You can also choose to disable a field so that a person would not be able to fill in any, from any information. So that is the fields. So let's go also take a look at some of the other ones I've added. So we're going to drag and drop phone. Here is another one. It is for cell phone number, but I'm just going to remove that there. And I'm going to place it in that area just to help the person to be able to give the information going to make sure that it's right because I want them to give me the information otherwise I wouldn't have not given it to them. So here you can choose whether you want to make it required or not. So let's go take a step further. You can also create drop downs. So if I choose this size for an example, one that I've used before, you will see all the different kinds of things of the options that I've added. I've got small, medium and large. Maybe I'm selling a t-shirts or something like that. And then you can click on add option and you can add additional ones or you can delete it. So in this case, we are not going to make use of size, but I want to bring something to your attention. Remember I said earlier that text fields do not have this option area. They only have properties and this is why. Because everything that falls onto the category of drop down, checkbox, radio, multiple fields and dates, all have options that will be enabled depending on what you are choosing. So in this case, we're just going to delete that. Now we've got phone, but we probably want to add something like a phone prefix. We're going to go to the phone and drag and drop it out of the basic field area because we don't have that yet. And here you can see is multiple different kinds of phone prefix. 
Now I want to use my own and I don't want to go click on click every single one. And I know that the country that I'm going to apply is just one specific country. So I'm just going to click on remove and then I'm going to say yes and I'm going to create my own. So I'm going to type in something like this. And then I'm going to write my option uh, value. And that would be it. All I need to do now is click it to make it optional or not. So in this case, because I know I'm only targeting this specific country, what I'm going to do is I am going to go to the properties area. In this case, I'm going to hide it. But I do require this when I'm going to start sending SMSs. So that is why sometimes you need to hide certain fields. I'm also not worried about required because the client do not have to give me that information. Now you can see that we've got it there, but the order is maybe not what you like. You can change the order by moving it, grabbing it and moving it up and down. Once you've made all of that changes, you're just going to click on update. So now you're going to see if we go to the fields area, you will see that we've got the phone prefix being added right here. And if I click drag it to this default area, you're going to see it shows me this specific one because that is my field that I have created. I'm just going to delete that again. And let's go take a look. This is the default form that was loaded. Let's go to consultation now. And you're going to see there is our form just like we've set it up. And that's basically form fields. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in another. Bye.